<laughs> hey guys, we just came out of the book signing from seeing Emma. Oh my goodness. Oh. She was quiet seeing her because yeah. that was like our first YouTuber uh -huh. she ever met. But yes. she's a YouTuber herself. This is Katie. Hello. Uh, we're going to collaborate one day. Right now, we're just collaborating right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. When we were just like waiting to the book to be signed, we were talking so much. Yeah. We have a lot of things in, 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 what do you call it? Common. In common, that's <laughs> it, in common. Uh, we're part of the creative industries together. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. We both like Emma. Uh -huh. We're both YouTubers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we have so much in common. We are so going to meet up again. Hey guys, it's Danger Debs, and look who appeared! Me, a wild kitty, appeared! We're here this winter to collaborate. Yeah. And um, today we're going to talk about Disney Channel. Yeah. Because we know the nostalgic critic has got a million subscribers this year, so welcome oh. to you! Woo. Since you're talking about Disney Channel this month, because you like to do everything to do with Disney on December, yep. we're going to talk about Disney Channel. What's up? I'm Cal Massey from Corey in the House. Hey, I'm Demi Lovato from Sunny with a Chance. And you're watching Disney Channel. Yeah. Katie, I want you to take one yep. paper out of here. Yep. Tell me about a series uh -huh. and one fact. All right. And then I'll do the same. Alright. Ooh. Good Luck Charlie. So basically, Good Luck Charlie is basically about a family and the sister, like, I think she's like the second oldest. She yes. basically films, like, she does little kind of diary vlogs to give advice to her little sister, which is Charlie. Like, obviously at the moment, Charlie's a baby. So basically the whole thing is shenanigans about raising advice a baby. Advice? Yeah. To her. To her. To, so basically when Charlie gets older, she can watch them and she can understand why certain things happen when you're in your teenage years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. That's a big family, I must say. Yeah. And I don't know why they put another baby in the series. Yeah, I didn't understand that either, but I think they just wanted... Like, because again, it's Charlie at that point was about four when they had the new baby. Why? I don't know. Just but... put a new character in, not another family member. Yeah. Oh, my turn. Okay, let's see. Who are we going to get? Oh, the small one. Recess! Oh, six, seven friends together in grade four, grade five, just chatting about and talking about why they're on break in school and they just go around and hang out and make yeah. pranks on so many people. Oh yeah. Even the big king himself yeah. in like the playground of oh, school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what was the king's name? Was it like Bob or something? King Bob! King Bob! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things happen in that playground. I mean, yeah. they yeah. find a secret playground and also you know remember, detention also there was that whole like you know the Ashleys had their own club oh yeah and it's like how how does you go from tires going into this fancy place very posh yes. very very posh yes okay right. Right. the sweet life of Zack and Cody yes oh I uh, this was like my favorite when I was growing up but mainly um, I, from what I remember basically it's about twins who are basically get to go around in a hotel. Because they live in a hotel. Yeah, because their mom's a singer. And basically, shenanigans ensue. And basically, yeah, and of course they annoy the hotel manager like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's the one who the one with the Yeah, shit. that one. Bell Hopper. Yeah. He has an, a company now called Ooh. Celebrity Experience. Oh. I don't know if it's real or not, because uh -huh. I think the whole thing's a scam. Oh, interesting. I went to the audition, he wasn't there, so a different celebrity was there instead. It told us the whole thing, how his company runs, its uh, acting program. Hmm. Some people thought it was a scam, some people thought it was real. Hmm. I got a call back. Oh. I didn't go. Okay, yeah. Because my parents were just like, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam. But I went to an audition and found it was a celebrity who was Drake and Josh's dad. Really? Yes. Wow. But I, I'm glad I didn't go back. Yeah, because you never know with these kind of things. Yeah. Especially if they said that it's meant to be this one celebrity. Mm hmm And then the celebrity doesn't show up. Yeah. He was he was there. The, a celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, performed in front of him. I got a call back mm -hmm. and he said, please come tomorrow so you can pay us for the acting program that's in London. What? Yeah. So nah, that doesn't sound good. I learned something. Never go to anything mm -hmm. that they ask you for money for. Mm -hmm. to go to an active program thing down in London, unless you actually live there. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And plus, always 
do your background check as well. Yeah. That's always a good thing. I'm to just going to say my local stuff yeah. of creative industries in here. Yeah. It makes okay. more sense what's real. But yeah. Zack and Cody is a good show. Like, if you somehow missed it or you're too maybe young to remember it, then go watch. I'm sure you can watch it somewhere. High School Musical. Oh, oh my goodness. HSM. Um, oh. Started back like 2006. Yeah. Then they had a summer one. Yeah. Then 2009, mm -hmm. the High School Musical Street was in the cinemas. Two people falling in love, making songs in the school, <laughs> which happens like every day in high school. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, it basically made. <laughs> high school like expectation levels up the hill and then when you actually finally got to high school it was nothing like that hey high school is nothing like high school actually no I, but it made us think it would yeah. i don't know why <laughs> but actually when high school musical came out back in 2006 it was on the 20th of january which is my birthday <laughs> Did you see the movie on your birthday? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Sunny with a chance. So, yeah. So random. Yeah, that's so... I know they also did a TV show where they did a spin-off of that, that's so random. Yeah. I, to be honest, I much preferred Sunny with a chance. Just so you know, Sunny with a chance is a girl who gets to be on this so big TV show called so random. Yes, and basically it's her favourite show of all time. And I think for, like at the start, like not a lot of people like her. No one Because does. she's like the new kid. And then she starts getting friends and then she ends up, yeah, she ends up dating one of the guys. From on their the other show. Yeah, like on their rival show, which that was an, like, which I kind of saw a mile away coming. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but it was an alright show. It was. But I think they, they, they had to stop the show because I think Demi had some problems at that yeah. point. Yeah. If you watch Simply Complicated, it'll make sense to you then. Document your Demi Lovato. Yeah. Uh, my turn. Hannah Yes! I can talk about this one. It's a girl who gets to be a girl in school by day and gets to be a pop star by night. Ooh. Just by wearing a disguise. Yeah, like how anyone didn't figure it out already. You're a girl in a wig! <laughs> yeah. She did four series that Miley Cyrus as Hannah Montana slash Miley Stewart. Yeah. And it was great watching it. Yeah. Until we found out she cut her hair and got naked on stage and then had a baby and it all got confusing about her life. Yeah, well, Not on the TV series, just Miley Cyrus in general. From what I've seen, I think she's getting her life together. Yeah. From what I see. So she's doing okay for now. I think mainly there's this whole theory that says apparently a lot of Disney stars like want like as soon as like their show's over, they're still technically in the Disney contract. Yeah, yeah. So what a lot of stars do is they do something crazy <laughs> so that Disney will just drop them. <laughs> Which, I but I can see that. One fact I can say about Hannah Montana is, I won a Disney competition, mm -hmm. and I won the competition. Woo. I got to take 20 friends to the cinema to see the Hannah Montana movie for free. Nice. If it wasn't free, it would have been £300. Because after the movie, we all got goodies. The goodies were Hannah Montana necklaces, Ooh. Hannah Montana watch, magazine, scarf. It was so great. Wow. Also, we got a Hannah Montana bag. It That's was a great, great day out with yeah. all my high school friends, church friends, and friends that I found that I've been friends with for a long time. It was so great. Yeah, I could imagine. I mean, she had the best of both worlds. <laughs> okay, uh, last one for both of us. Okay, let's see. What do I get? What do I get? Right. Ooh, Halloween Town. What's this? Basically, it's a movie. It's one of like the classic ones that play on Disney Channel basically every year near around Halloween time. And basically it's about this girl who basically finds out she's a witch, but her mum doesn't want her to get her powers by her the age she's supposed to be okay. to get her powers. 16. Because, yeah, around 16, probably around that. And because her mum wants her to live a normal life. But her gran is like, no, she's going to learn about her powers. <laughs> so basically, in the middle of the night when she learns that she is a witch, they go on this bus that takes them to the Halloween town, which all mystery happens, there's a bad guy, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously she learns how to use her powers. And then there was like two other movies that came out after that, which, eh, we're okay. <laughs> Sounds like Sabrina, the movie. Yeah, except obviously her parents were like, you can't learn to use your magic. <laughs> and it's called Halloween Town, not Sabrina, the movie. Yeah. Okay, last one for me. Okay. Cory in the house. Mm -hmm. If people know That's So Raven, 
Raven had a brother called Cory, and he got to live in the White House with his dad because he's the best chef ever. When does that ever happen in real life? Yeah. Which, again, how that happened. How does that happen in real life? It, I don't know if they entirely explain it on the show of how exactly it happened. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously the last time we saw, like... That's a Raven. That's a Raven. You know, the dad owned his own restaurant at that point. And even, like, Raven worked there for a bit, I think. One episode, I think. Yeah, one episode. And yeah, he was running his own business. I was like, again, I don't know exactly how he, that got the attention of like him being in the restaurant working in the White House. Yeah, they're basically making <laughs> food for the the president of the United States. And Corey's there making whole shenanigans because he wants to be rich, 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 yeah. and he's got his own band. Yeah, and his band's really interesting. The the guy who plays a guitar mm -hmm. plays a guitar with his toes sometimes and completes girl's hair. Yeah, and the girl just sings too much and she's from like somewhere else. Yeah, I think I think there was a made-up country. Yeah, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it was very interesting. Yeah. Anyway, that's us. Yeah. Talking about Disney Channel. Did you cause the established critic got a million subscribers? Woo! We are very proud of you. Yes, very. Go YouTube all the way. I mean, ten years you've done you've done YouTube for, and you get a million subscribers. Yeah. Could that happen to us one day? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to me, Dean Your Dad, and subscribe to. A wild kid appeared if you like your anime, gaming, or if you like Voltron Legendary Defender, I'm your girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, Ginger Devs. And that's me, a wild kid appeared. See you later, guys. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Bye! <laughs>